Hey, thanks for tuning in. Link in the description for episode one if you haven't seen it. Where we left off, the chassis was started and the engine was completed. In this episode, we'll wrap up the chassis and start some sub-assemblies. This is the drive shaft and differential. I'll clean up that seam in just a bit. Exhaust pipe. The fit was a little fussy there at that end. This is Mr. Dissolved Putty, which is solvent based. I'm going to drill out the exhaust. Here are my mini bits. Down to one one thousandth, there are no duplicates there. I start with an awl. Then use progressively larger bits to make the hole. I decided to stop there and not risk splitting it. These are now ready. There's a lot more parts to put on than this. I don't bore you gluing them on one by one. I keep a clean and dirty bottle of extra thin for when I add parts that are painted. I do like these square indexing points. Just a dab of Flexi 5K CA glue for rigidity. These fit fairly true, not bad. I managed to pop the engine out without much fuss. This will now make painting so much easier. It was a challenge not to break stuff off as I went. I just reprimed. And recoded in satin black. You now move on to some body assembly. Three pins there, and the fit was very good. I was worried, but it comes out quite level and true. This goes in front between the fenders. This will build up the dash and instrument cluster. Once you start gluing, the curved edges fall into place. I'm going to join these as they are the body color. But leave this off, it's going to be black.
Next step are the doors. I'm going to paint these separate. These are the body color. And the inserts are leather brown. As mentioned, I'll add this in the doors later. But right now, I can add this top part. Same with these. I'll paint the body panels and insert separately. This is everything that will be painted in the body color. Priming first. That'll end up gloss black. These will all have leather brown surfaces. I decided to go with saddle tan leather. It doesn't spray on wet. You build it up for the sheen. I'm masking off the cabin floor to stay flat black. I gave it three coats of gloss black in increasing wetness. I'll smooth that with 5000 grit and 2K it with the rest later. So I found this and I like it. This is what I'm going with. I ordered the paints on Saturday. So thanks for watching. Be well and happy modeling.